Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna put together some fun and spooky DIYs for this Halloween season. Um, I love to decorate my porch for all the kids who come by, and usually, they're all DIYs. So I hope that this will inspire you, give you some fun ideas of ways that you can put together some fun trick-or-treat surprises for the kids in your neighborhood. Um, unfortunately, my memory card had a ca catastrophic error, which sounds terrible. I promise you nothing catastrophic happened while I was doing these DIYs. But I wanted to just show you a couple of things. These were all made with items from the Dollar Tree. Kind of a pumpkin clown situation. Um, so I just found these tea light holders and it's white. I striped it and spray painted it with a matte black. And then I picked up some of these LED pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns. I thought his face is so cute. And then I found some little witch hats. So I thought these would be really cute to maybe having um, sitting next to my, my sink in my kitchen or something along those lines. Um, or, you know, you could even put them on your porch for Halloween. But super quick DIY and really super cute. A creepy blanket ladder that I could hang a wreath on on my porch. So I made this using just three different broom handles from the Dollar Tree. It was funny, I didn't realize that you had to buy the broom head and the broom handle separately. And so I just bought five broom handles because that's what I needed for the projects I was working on. And this lady looked at me like I was crazy and she asked me what I was working on. <laughs> and I was just buying five broom handles and no broom heads. But I just cut one of the broom handles down um, to like 15 inch. And then I glued, hot glued and um, lashed those on. I wanted it to be really topsy-turvy, which made it really easy to do this. I didn't have to worry about measuring and making sure that anything was straight. And I think this is going to be super cute on my porch. Um, one thing I will say, if you have little kids, these ends are really, really sharp. I used a pipe cutter to cut them. They are metal, so you may want to consider um, either doing just a bit of hot glue around the edges or putting some kind of caps um, or even like electrician's tape or something like that along the, on the edges um, just because they're really sharp. So, but I thought that turned out cute and I'm just gonna hang a little Halloween sign or Halloween wreath on this. But I made some giant spooky lollipops to go in the planters on my front steps and this again, all Dollar Tree items, a broom handle, some orange duct tape. I really wanted to do a spiral on this, but it just wasn't working out, so I ended up doing stripes. Um, some ribbon, and then these are the garden bowls. And then I just filled it with some creepy spiders and spider webs. So let me show you how to make this. Again, we're gonna be using the tip of our hot glue gun in order to melt the plastic to make the hole. It's super time consuming. So six Halloweens later, when you finish that process, you can have these cute lollipops on your front steps. But I will tell you, be really, really patient and really, really careful as you melt the plastic um, to, to insert the broom handle. So I will show you how to do that. Okay, so I have all my supplies. I have a broom handle, already black. Um, I'm not gonna worry too much about these labels because I know that my pots that I'm gonna stick these in will cover that part up. Um, these handles, or these labels on this handle, are really, really hard to get off. So what I did on the Blanket ladder that I made is I just used a Sharpie and I just colored it out. Um, I trying to peel this off would have just been impossible. So, um, so I wouldn't worry about that. Um, I have 
orange duct tape, several different kinds of ribbon, a little bit of wire, These little spiders came with the cobwebs, which I also have. And then I found this tarantula, <laughs> so I will use him. And you'll need one of these cellophane um, gift basket covers. This was in the party section as well. And then two of the garden bowls. Um, there's several different bowls available in kind of that party section and I, I think they would be good options. This, these ones I liked better because they're flatter and so they kind of resembled the uh, lollipop shape a little bit better. Um, these were over in the floral section. So trickiest part to start. I'll tip you down so you can watch what I'm doing. Is making the hole for the broomstick. And part of me wonders if it would be easier to do this after it's assembled, but it's such a tedious process that honestly, I would probably do it without having all the um, decor inside but it is not an easy process by any means. So I just have the tip of my hot glue gun and I'm just gonna make sure obviously that this has been on for a while and is about as hot as it can get. In order for the broom handle to fit, I need almost a three quarter inch hole. So, you just have to be super patient. And kind of just rub it back and forth. And after a little bit, you'll feel where it will start to kind of pull away from the sides. I'm getting some glue on it too. I don't know if that's <laughs> good or bad. just takes a long time. So I'll come back when this is done. I popped this back on to show you the progress that I'm making. It's been, I don't know, five minutes or so. And once it starts melting, um, you can see it pulls away from the sides. And you really just want to keep working the same spot <laughs> until you get the depth that you need and then just kind of roll it to make it wider. But again, it takes way longer than I want it to. I just want it to instantaneously be done. Okay, so there is about half of the hole and this extra piece be careful because it could be really sharp but that actually helps to give it a little more stability and gives you something to glue this to so now I'm gonna get started with the other half of the circle and I'm gonna use this one as kind of a guide <laughs> and we'll see how that goes The second one went a lot faster. I don't know if it was just that my glue gun was hotter or <laughs> if I just got lucky, but I think this will be big enough for the end of the broom handle. There we go. All right. So my next step is the fun part, which is decorating. And I did find that you do need to glue, um, glue the items inside your lollipop. Otherwise, when you stand it up, everything tips to the bottom. Unless you really, really fill it super full, but 
I think just gluing it probably works quite a bit better. Plastics, I'm gonna use E6000 and a little bit of hot glue. This combination works really, really well to give it a permanent hold as well as a quick hold. Just gonna start with my spider. Because this spider's pretty heavy. And anytime you're mixing glues and using multiple glues, you wanna try to make sure that they don't overlap each other. Otherwise, what happens is you don't get both bonds, you only get the bond of whatever kind of overtook the other one. Get him nice and situated in there. And take my cobwebs. Ideally, I would have put the cobwebs in first, but I found when I did that, then he didn't glue down well enough. And so I'm just gonna try to <laughs> shove him under his legs. Moss would be really cool in here too. Um, but since I didn't do that with my other one, I want him to look the same. But you could do moss and skeleton heads or you know creepy spiders body parts i don't know anything that you think would be <laughs> creepy to have inside of a lollipop bugs then we'll put his little spider babies in here okay so we've got everything glued down make sure you give it the shake test that was a mistake I made yesterday because once I stood it up, things started to come a little unglued. So now what we're going to do is adhere the two sides together. And definitely would recommend using both hot glue and E6000 for this. Now we do the tricky part. Just trying to get these two bowls to line up. Ooh. That was a lucky first shot, I think. So here's where we're at. So the next step is I'm gonna insert the broom handle to that hole and <laughs> this is going to require a lot of glue. So, I'm just squish on a whole bunch of E6000. And a whole bunch of hot glue. This is where those extra little plastic kind of things are actually really helpful. And then stick it in there. And fill it in. I'm also going to bring the back and just propping it up a little bit on some on that duct tape um, just so that the stick is straight as it. and once I feel pretty confident that this top part is dried then I'll flip it over and do the other side too so I just cut three different lengths of ribbon about the same I'm going to dovetail these ends is the way I prefer it. I don't know if you can hear my dog. She's having a dream right now. <laughs> she talks in her sleep, if you can believe that. 
as a dog would. So because I have three different types of ribbon, I'm just gonna do a super simple bow because I have already six different loops. So that just makes it quite a bit easier. Take a tiny bit of wire, this wire. You wanna make sure you leave yourself enough room to tie it around your lollipop. And then I'll just fluff these loops. And I've got you know, several inches on the back side to be able to wire it around the pole. That looks dry. Flip it over. Do the do the stand-up test to make sure it's gonna stay put. And it looks like it passes the test. My spider's a little crooked, but actually I prefer it that way. our gift bag, a gift basket wrapper. I kind of tuck these corners as I'm wrapping. on beforehand because I wasn't quite sure how far down to start the stripes. At this point, and this duct tape is pretty thin, so I, was, um, I would recommend wrapping it around a couple times. And this is completely extra. You don't need to do this if you don't look like the stripes. I really wish I could have figured out how to do the, like the candy stripe, though. That would have been really cute. I didn't go all the way down to the bottom because I knew that would be inside my planter. but this is our finished product. I think this is so cute. And I plan on adding some LED lights, maybe even some color changing lights to the back so it will glow different creepy colors for Halloween. So join me in our Halloween Decorate With Me series, including my porch where I'll put these cute lollipops out front for our upcoming trick-or-treat. 
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some fun inspiration for ways that you could decorate your porch this Halloween season for a super spooky and fun trick or treat. I hope that you will subscribe to my channel, that you give this a thumbs up so you let me know that you enjoyed this content and would like to see something similar in the future. We've got Christmas coming up, so we'll see what we come up with. Anyway, with that, we'll see you next time.